Hey guys, Adam Aka ACS Radical here. So this is going to be a bit more of a, uh, a brief venting video more than anything else because we're obviously at week number six of the spring anime season and I don't think there's any doubt in my mind at this point that this is without a shadow of a doubt one of the worst anime seasons I have watched since I started watching simulcasts. Um, at the time I'm recording this, like I said, we're, we're coming towards week number six. I have in total five full shows in one sh in one like um, what five six seven minute short sort of deal, and that's it. And albeit there's there could be a number of reasons for why, but I mean, let's take a look at the common ones right off the bat. I dropped at least I'm trying to think on top of my head. I know I dropped Kitaro. I know I dropped Kakurio. I dropped. Caligula. I might be dropping Hina Matsuri this week, you know. And then there was just a lot of shorts. I think that was probably the a big part of it too. Is there were a lot of three minute shorts this season. And I mean, I, for those who don't uh, keep up with my blog stuff, the other thing is too is I only stick to uh, Crunchyroll ones, and I don't uh, download. I don't like like torrent anything, so I can keep up with that. I don't have enough time right now because of because of work, because I still try to get some gaming in. You know, I still I hang out with my friends a lot. And right now we're also in the spring, so I'm playing three different days worth of sports. So my time is getting more and more limited. So I don't have the time, nor do I really feel like paying the money to go have like three or four different services. I'm not like I might at some point go back and get Netflix. That might be a possibility. It depends on how bad, you know the choice on Crunchyroll continues to be. But there's no way in hell I'm getting Anime Strike for the reasons that Amazon has pissed me off beyond all recognition. I do not care how good their service is now. Unless it's the only service, I do not care anymore. And obviously there's just stuff that just doesn't get pulled over here. There's just some shows that just never get... Uh, that no Western um, streaming service takes over. So there are always going to be cases where there are just shows that I miss in general. And I'm trying to alleviate some of that by you know after a show is completely finished like say if I miss something from this season that I couldn't have watched normally because it was on a different service I'll actually wait till it's till I can torrent it or something like that and be able to give a full review of it you know after it's been done in full so I can just binge watch it and get it over with really fast but I mean in terms of simulcasting like the season has been awful like I could I have two shows that have been really good I have Amanchu Advance, which, after watching the first season, is not surprising at all. And there's Comic Girls, which has been very funny and very entertaining. But other than that, like, everything else is not that great. Hinamatsuri is in danger of being dropped, which will put me down to four shows. Cause the Or, sorry, it will put me down to five full shows. Sorry, I had six. Six and a short. So that would leave me with Maho Shoujo Ore, which... The only reason that I'm still watching that show is because it does it takes enough shots of things that I that I still enjoyed. It, it's not as amazing as as I would like it to be. It keeps having its moments and then it kind of sucks again and it's it's fluctuating, but it's staying good enough that I can stay with it. Uh, Butler's ex Battlers is literally just an average show. There, that's all there is to it. You know, it's it's got enough to keep me interested, but it's not blowing me away every week. Um, and then there's Last Period, which quite honestly is just, you know, it's, it's run of the mill. It's very run of the mill. And, you know, it's, it's really one really boring episode away from being put on notice and, and being in danger of being dropped. So it, it's painful, man. Like you, you really want to like a lot of stuff and when it does, it just isn't working you don't really know what to do. Like, I, I'm sitting here, like, dumbfounded because I thought for a little bit that maybe it was just that. You know, it's possible that I'm just sort of, you know, three or four years into watching anime to this level. Maybe I'm just getting bored. But then I remember that there are shows like Yori Moi that I get really into. And then there are still shows this season where I'm getting really into. So I know that it's not a matter of of the of just me not really having an interest in anime anymore. That's never going to be the fucking case, I think, but it could literally just be that 
I'm having less and less patience with shows that are not giving me a good enough quality. It could be that because of my time constraints now, I'm just intentionally dropping shows that I'm not wholeheartedly into because I'm trying to reduce time. It's tough to say. I, I think it could be a myriad of reasons, and it could just be a mixture of, you know, it's just a bad lineup of shows that Crunchyroll got this season, or, you know, again, it could just be I don't really have the time to throw at five, six hours a week of anime, so I'm cutting a few out that, you know, are okay. Like, I, I, like, I think I probably could have sucked it up and watched Kitaro, but it just wasn't doing anything. The art style of that show was fantastic, but it just wasn't hitting anything. Mana was the only character that I was really interested in that show, and that's and that's not enough. You know, a, a relatively normal character is not going to be enough to sell me on an anime that's not performing. So, the same go like Hinamatsuri. If I end up dropping, it, is going to be a great example of a show that has everything that it needs to be a really good show and just isn't performing. And I'm kind. Of, I'm watching all the articles being like the comedy is is so good it's hitting every mark, and I'm sitting here being like I. I'm one of the biggest comedy anime guys out there. Like, I strictly watch comedies. And I'm watching this show, and I'm like, I'm not even snickering. I'm not even grinning at anything in this in the show. I grinned a lot at the first episode. The second episode was all right. And then it's just been nothing. You know, I love Hitomi, but all her story stuff has just not been, has not been that great. Like, it's not funny anymore. I think they're just they're relying on the same jokes and it's just not working. And when you have the monotone like all, always looking bored like small girl and you can't even make her funny, that's a problem because usually those characters make everything amazing. And in this case, she's more annoying than anything else. And that's really hard to do with that type of character. So, I mean... I, I'm at this point just figuring, you know what? It's just a really shit season. You know, I'm looking forward to what's in the summer. There looks like there's a lot of potentially good stuff that's coming. We'll see what Crunchyroll gets. And this is also going to be a season where I kind of start having to gauge, like, okay, is it just Crunchyroll or should I start re at least relying on Netflix to also give me something too? Who knows? But I really don't like Netflix's choice when it comes to streaming anime. Sometimes they don't even stream it simulcast. Sometimes it takes even longer to upload, so it's really difficult to go into that. But, I mean, given what I see on the horizon for next season, I think there's a lot to look forward to. And, I mean, I'm sure some people will be like, well, why? You didn't watch Sword Art, the Sword Art Online anime? Well, that's because I don't care about Sword Art Online. It doesn't work for me. Uh, same with Steins Gate. I didn't, I, my rule of thumb when it comes to anime is that if I have not watched any of the previous content, I am, I don't even care if it's a side story and has nothing to do with the main plot of the, of the actual original anime. Don't care. I want to be able to watch all the source material first. So I have something to work off of. So like, for example, the fate, uh, stay night series seems to have like a billion fucking different shows. Now I don't care. Like I need to be able to watch and take in all the other stuff. Be so that way I have an understanding of things. I don't just want to go into something blind when I know there is another series of shows that have a connection to it. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of reasons why I'm, I'm not getting nearly as much. Like I didn't even start with that many full shows this season. I think it's also because there are a lot more shorts than usual. I think I, I think by the time that, you know, I finished all my main first episode previews of everything, I think I had like five three-minute shorts. Like, it was ridiculous how many three-minute shorts we had this season. But yeah, I don't know, man. It's just not been a great season for me, and it seems like it's only going to get worse because I'm pretty sure unless Hinamatsuri blows me away this week, it's going to go away. Um last period, like I said, is, is in danger. Maho Shoujo Ore is in danger. You know, it's very possible that by the time the season ends, I could have only four shows. I could have literally just Amanshu, Comic Girls. Probably out of all of them that has the best chance of staying alive would be Butlers, oddly enough. Maybe last period has a good shot at it. And then Space Battleship Tiramisu. I may have as as much as five. I may even be down to four or even three if it gets that bad. Because... It's, a lot of shows just are performing, and that's just it. So I want to know what you guys think. What's What's been going on with you guys if, for anybody that's been watching the spring season? Have you been 
finding a lot more stuff to like. You know, is there stuff that's outside of Crunchyroll that I'm missing that's really good, something that I should maybe be looking into as a full review or something like that? Let me know in the comments below. I, I, I want to see what you guys think because I can't. I feel like I can't be the only one because this is really rare for me to have this short a list this quickly. I've had, I've had one season where I had maybe like seven or eight, and that was a big deal because I usually would keep it over ten. Now it's just like I, I, I have nothing. There, there's two shows that I'm really interested in, and everything else is just kind of hanging in there. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and I will see you next time.